Hey bestie, I'm Kenya and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining in for a planner sesh. This time bestie, we're going to be planning the week. The week of March 4th through the 10th and y'all, I'm in a dashboard, okay? Y'all saw me create this spread so I thought that it would be fun to see how it turns out. So if you want to see me writing my planner, stay tuned. <music> Okay, bestie, so let's jump into this. You all have seen this spread. I created it in my watercolor dashboard, uh, Kill of a Plan release video. And she released this dashboard, this dashboard planner pack. So I used it. So all I did to this spread was date it and add my two dolls. The two dolls are from Rung Rung, and the dates are actually from Kill of a Plan as well. So I love it. I felt like this was such a refresher to just have this spread already made, which I needed because March is big okay so y'all just gear up because this spread is about to be no different okay no different it's about to be a full max on spread so let's get into it so you guys know i always like to pull out some of my functional sticker books and i thought some of my mini ones would be good as well as the all the plans sticker book it's an oldie with goodie but they all have some purple tones in them and i'm going to just you know play around with all the purple tones that i can find i may even throw in some teal in here too because i feel like i pulled in the teal and then the blue from with the dolls so i may even be able to find some of those in the icons so we're just gonna start it out okay so first up you guys we have my leadership meeting that i pretty much have every monday and so i'm just writing in the details on that because it's a little bit specific this week because we're meeting in a different space so that's a whole thing then i'm gonna go into the all the plans sticker book y'all i haven't used this book in a while i don't know I've, it's in my stash to be used but i don't know i think because the colors are a little bit different but i was happy to find that i had this salon mirror because i have a hair appointment on tuesday okay and i was happy to find that to have that y'all i don't know what it is but having all the different icons and stuff it's just really become a part of my planner style and it just makes me happy when i see them in my planner so if i can find the icon that works i'm probably gonna use it nine times out of the ten okay so now we're just flipping through and i'm also thinking what else do i got and sometimes y'all flipping through the books help me remember things like i know i saw those date night stickers and i was like okay that's wednesday that's when me and the hopes plan on doing a little date night or something and so then i was like okay i got these purple checklists and then i found this noted envelope so i'm gonna actually use that and now I can notate that we have an office meeting on Wednesday. And I shouldn't say an office meeting, but it's like a lunch and learn event. We're going to have some lunch at the office with the team and everything. And so that's going to be really nice. So I want to write that in. We don't have that every week. So I felt like that noted envelope was like a little bit of a highlight it would help me like you know signify it and then on thursday i know i have a virtual class that i have to attend and so i'm going to write that in on thursday and i already have bullet points on thursday so i didn't really feel the need to put in like an icon for this so it was fine and so i wrote myself a little note too that i needed to log in early and now I'm going into the planner basics and this is the mini planner basics as well. And I'm going to pull these little eyeglasses y'all cause I am, ha I have an eye appointment. I got it scheduled. So I'm going to get some new glasses and some new contacts. Okay. And so, um, now that I got that, I'm thinking, okay, what else do I have Saturday? I have a work event Well, we have like a work meeting and then we have an, um, I shouldn't say an event. We have a work meeting or training that we can do. And so I'm going to write that in here on this little thing just to kind of like make it pop from the actual box itself. And then I'm going to go in and write in the next thing. And I'm trying to find, see what else I have that maybe I could put in. And I found this meeting sticker, but then I was like, no, nah, it's, it's weird. So I'm going to actually write in that I have another meeting, <laughs> another team meeting, another team that I'm on. And so I'm going to write that Zoom call in as well. Saturday starting off busy. I told y'all this week, I pretty much have something every day, like a, a meeting, an event, an appointment, 
something you know pretty much every day so i just knew this week was gonna really be one of those busy weeks for me y'all know like how do y'all get through y'all's busy weeks like my planner definitely helps me but i think being prepared for each thing and like doing my weekly planning actually helps me like and what i mean by weekly planning of course using my planner but then also prepping for those things like knowing what i'm gonna wear if it's like an event that I have to wear something special to, uh, being prepared with certain things that I need for all the events, like prime example, knowing how I want my hair when I go to my hair appointment, just thinking about all of those things in advance really helps. Okay, so the next thing I'm writing in on Saturday, and I couldn't find a baby sticker. I have a baby book, y'all. I should have just pulled something from it, but my little cousin he is having well he's not having his girlfriend is having twins but they are having twins and so their baby shower um the one that that we're having here as a family is actually on saturday so i'm excited about that and so we'll be doing that saturday evening okay and then of course sunday we go to church you know and get into the word and everything and then i have to send in some dates to let them know that i probably can't serve some dates for march so i gotta i made myself a note for that and then i'm meeting up at the office with some of my business partners and we're gonna have like a little meeting um rehearsal type thing we have a, a big event coming up and so we want to make sure that we have you know all of our eyes dotted and our t's crossed and we're all on the same page you know preparation so we're meeting on sunday evening just to get that together and then you guys i was like okay i created this little meal plan section i didn't know which week i was going to use this but i was glad that i had this because i'm going to i was able to write it out and i'm we're going to have breakfast for dinner i love breakfast for dinner shout out in the comments if y'all like breakfast for dinner too then of course we're probably going to go out to eat depending on like how tuesday goes uh and then um nine times out of ten we're going to have date night wednesday unless something changes and i haven't wrote that down on wednesday yet but nine times out of ten we're going to have date night and then thursday i plan to do some salmon and you know some rice and green beans and stuff and then we're gonna have leftovers and then i also have some chicken that i'm taking out too so so maybe i can bake some chicken so that's what i wrote down for the meal plan now you guys i'm moving over to the dashboard side wait is this the dashboard side the dashboard is technically on the right side this is like the free space okay so I decided that I wanted to like map out my work schedule because typically I pick days where I know I'm going to be like at the office and days where I'm going to be at home or days we're going to be out in the field, you know, and so... I like to kind of already have that pre-schedule that is flexible though because sometimes that changes and sometimes I need to you know split the days but I like to have specific days where I know that I can dedicate just because I do do content as well so I'm trying to stay con consistent with that so this kind of helps me map out for the week just depending on what all I have going on and so um what has been working for me really Tuesdays and Thursdays have been really good for me however um i do throw in like a little bit of content on mondays too sometimes so it just kind of depends on like what all i got going on but i do like to write in that you know i want to have an office schedule to where i can do some office work and stuff and you know make sure me and the hubs are on the same page about different things that we got going on with clients and stuff like that okay so i wrote out the little schedule and y'all i just thought the alphas were cute so i searched through several alpha books like playful type and unique funds and fun funds i think it's what it's called or fun fun alphabets that's that's the right name <laughs> just to find like the right purple letters that would work okay so then i found like a little be productive sticker just to kind of fill in that little white space and that's just a little reminder to myself like girl get the work done and so then i went back into the essential planning sticker book and i found this little vacuum cleaner and it's just a little icon to help me i don't know try to get excited about doing these chores i mean y'all let me not even true let me not hold y'all i actually like cleaning i don't mind cleaning my house because i love the after effect of it i love when the house is like clean smells good it's freshly clean so i pretty much honestly clean every day however i like to have this list because i like to do some deeper cleaning 
for certain things and then two for weeks like this one when I do probably need to clean like multiple things in one day but just spread it throughout the week because the week is pretty much busy I like to have this so I thought that was really nice and I'm, I'm feeling this in my dashboard to have that which typically in my planner spread I always designate a box to that okay so now I'm going through and I found this laundry sticker and y'all we gotta do laundry okay so we're gonna put that on Thursday and I'm gonna try to accomplish that task after my class and so I'm gonna write in laundry day as well as I'm just gonna put like make myself a note to wash and fold laundry and then um, actually drop off at the cleaners I have a thing that I need to like get fixed so I need to drop it off so I'm making myself a note of that and so now as y'all can see y'all this spread is filling up I'm like oh and I haven't even put my to-dos in but thank god for that long to-do checklist so it's working out so as how I'm using this so far is putting off on the days I'm putting all of my appointments and like things that I know I want to do on a specific day I'm trying to find room to designate to those and then I like the little meal plan list where it's at so that's really nice so here's where this is why I hadn't wrote down date night yet because I was trying to find the right sticker for it but then I decided to use this one it says dinner date it's in purple too and that deeper tone and so we that's what we plan to do go to dinner you know just enjoy each other Sometimes y'all dates don't even have to be all elaborate. Sometimes it's just getting getting some designated time to, you know, get away and just focus on you guys. And so that's what we're going to do. Keeping it simple this week, just a little QT with the hubs. And I just drew a little arrow. Now, I don't know the time yet. So it, that just depends. It depends on the last client or the last um, piece of business that we have to do. So that just, that just all depends, okay? And then on Thursday, I typically do my beauty routine. And I like to um <laughs> make sure I do that on schedule a lot of the times. So that's another thing that I do weekly to help me stay prepared for things. Because sometimes, y'all, things will pop up. Like, you know, people will invite us to things and ask us to be somewhere. And then certain things require a certain dress code. So, like, I want to be comfortable. Like, if I put on a dress, like, for some reason, I just do not like to have my legs, like, just unkilt, right? So, I like for them to be nice, at least shaving and all of that. Plus, I love a fresh leg, child, after you done shave and you get in the bed on them cold sheets. Oh, it's something about it. Now, I have not gotten into the wax yet. I tried. I tried to buy a wax kit and girl that just did not go well okay so maybe i just need to go ahead bite the bullet book an appointment and go for it but i'm i mean i've always been a shave girl so hey it's, it's become part of the routine and I, I relax when i'm doing it so it's no pressure okay so then i went in and i wrote in on sunday as well that i wanted to do my weekly prep and water my plant i typically do that i did make myself a note to schedule my husband's eye exam i need to do his so um he can get some new glasses as well we both y'all wear these glasses okay <laughs> we wear these glasses um but i'm excited y'all found a pair that i believe i like so i'm gonna see about ordering it and see hopefully they are what i like and not just because i'm planning on ordering them online the pair that i saw so we shall see okay i'm finishing up my to-do list i'm just thinking of things as i go i know that i gotta do some grocery shopping i got to check in with one of my friends from church um i've been trying to get in touch with her so i'm just like y'all know when you have people on your heart you just whenever you don't hear from them and everything i just make myself a mental note and i use my planner for this to just continue to check in and everything because you know i love my people you know okay and then i do need to send a group message to our house church everything from march because march we're having a little bit of a break because spring break and stuff i know the way our school system is set up here our kids go to school earlier than typically what they used to so now that because they go to school early in the year in july they have two weeks for fall break and two weeks for spring break and so with our church schedule when we're meeting most of the time, the families are out, like they're on vacations and stuff. And so we like to um, prepare for that. So that's what I got to do, talk about that. And then I also need to purchase a baby shower gift. 
okay so then y'all thinking about my to-dos i do have a couple of to-dos that i really like to do at the beginning part of the week and so i thought i would use that box in between monday and tuesday and make me a little to-do list there and i just put check email and review my budget i like to do that at the top of the week um because it just it just makes sense in my head to know what all bills i have coming up do what's coming out the account and all of that as well as checking my email refresher because i technically probably have missed some stuff over the weekend and all of that so i like to do that okay so now that i got that you guys i did put in that i need to prep for my class as well as um send an email to the team um there and so i got a few more things to write in on the to-do list like well i shouldn't say a few more things i got some more space to write so i'm happy about that so now i was thinking okay before i start filling all of that in let me like fill in the rest of this little blank space and at first i was just going to like make a whole nother like bullet point type system over here then i thought well you know what i kind of like the box feel that i got going so i'm gonna add a box and so i'm gonna put this box layered on top of this work schedule box just on the corner here just to kind of like you know frame out this side of the page and so i'm gonna use this because i have several calls that i need to make this week um i got some people i need to call back some people that i've been meaning to call about various things and so i wanted to make a little list and y'all i remembered i was like i got some telephones i got some call stickers somewhere and i immediately thought about my tiny book because i had some cell phones in there and then i saw this one and it was in this hill i was like i gotta use it that's cute <laughs> that's cute y'all so i was like okay we're gonna use the telephone and i'm gonna make my little call list and everything so um make that right quick so i'm thinking like who i'll do i had i actually have a little sticky note and i was like i need to put this in my planner so i do not forget to call some of these people at least anyway i gotta call some of them so i'm making a list um so i gotta reach out to a friend a couple of friends I got to reach out to my sisters, my best friend, and then I have a couple of business calls that I need to make that are not like related to our business, but they are some things that I want to do for our business. And so I got to make some calls for those things and call those people. Okay, so now I still have this space and I'm thinking that I want to make this a shopping list. I think even though I have grocery shopping on the to-do list, um, sometimes I like to make like a shopping list of things I know I need to get just to kind of get it out of my head for the week. It probably will get added to, especially once I get to the store. Like, are y'all like that? Do y'all stick to the list when you get to the store or do you always add stuff to the cart? Like, I can never, I feel like I can never go in. Well, sometimes I do, depending on time. If I'm in a time crunch, yes, I'll go in and get what I want and come right back out. But a lot of times when I have some time, I will, you know, scan the aisles and things and find stuff that I want to, like I want to add into the cart. So I know I'm going to come out with more than what I intended, but I at least like to kind of brain dump things I know I need. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to make that there. And I did give myself like a shopping date or I shouldn't say date, a shopping day. And the reason why I thought that was important for this spread is because I got a lot of stuff, y'all, that I'm shopping for. I got some exciting things happening this month that I'm preparing for. I got some big events that I need outfits for. And so that's a little bit different from gro grocery shopping. You know, you got to go to the mall. You got to go to the boutiques and stuff and find some clothes. And like, what's your favorite place to shop at? Like, comment below. Like, where do y'all like to find like the looks okay like i can tell y'all for me i'm a ross girl and a tj maxx girl like listen okay i don't know what it's been like for some reason i just been able to find some good stuff in there and i always look for like good quality pieces and stuff so and i've been able to find some gems and so i always check those first before i like you know go to you know the mall or go to my boutiques because normally i can find what i need okay <laughs> so i did make myself that and then i'm gonna watch my shows y'all gotta catch up so i said friday could be that and doing a planner sesh now i did add another box here y'all see how the boxes are framing this up right i added a box in to just like make a checklist of some bills i got um i do review my budget for like all of the little subscription stuff that come out and everything but like my main bills 
you know, like my insurance is and like, you know, the truck and stuff. Like, I just like to have a notation for that. And I did add in that I need to clean out the fridge because I didn't have room for that on Wednesday. And so I need to clean out the fridge because trash day is Wednesday. So I like to scan my fridge and get rid of like any old food, old produce or anything like that that I haven't used that may be expired or need to be thrown out. So I always do that. And there's my little to buy list, y'all. I did add in a little quote too. Actually, I can. And that's so significant for me for this week because it's like, girl, you can do this. Okay. So as y'all can see, I got a little bit of room, like a little bit of room left for my to-do list as well as my shopping list, my to buy list, and a little bit of room on Monday. So I'm feeling good about it, y'all. I feel good about how it has turned out. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for joining in and planning with me, bestie. Thank you so much for always being so sweet and so kind. I do ask that you please subscribe to my channel and please share it with someone that you think will find it helpful. And definitely comment below and like this video and let me know how you're feeling. All right. Thank you so much again for watching. Until next time, I love you. Bye.